take you home Namaste So now you have interviewed your subject and of course your first subject is yourself, right? <laughs> Set the context selected a charting tool, software, and cast the chart with as accurate a birth time as possible. So now what? <laughs> this is the easy part so far. Well, first of all, let's take a look at what we've got. I'm showing the dashboard, what's called Jyotish dashboard, program on iOS and it's showing my chart and you see there's a D1 which is also called the Rashi chart and the D9 the ninth divisional chart and these are the most commonly used charts for all purposes of interpretation so let's take a closer look at the D1 chart the D1 chart shows basically nine planets plus three more, the western planets, um, Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto. Now, there are a lot of other points that you can calculate called the Guhyas and the Dooms and the, the Upagrahas. But we're going to try to keep it simple, okay? <laughs> At least to start with, and only work with these nine planets. Well, 12, including the outer planets, if you want to use them. It's not at all required, it's optional. I find them useful, especially for transit calculations and predictions. So now you have to collate or combine all the readings for each planet. <laughs> this is the grunt work. Take a look at any planet, beginning with Lagna, the rising sign. And it has a position in a sign. So, first of all, there's a reading for that planet or position in that sign. And then, because in the South Indian system, at least, the houses and signs are identical, there's a reading for that planet in that house. Then there's a reading for that planet in the nakshatra that it's in. And finally, if the planet is uh, combined with UT or in the same sign, or aspected by another planet, there's a reading for that, too. So you're going to have to look all these readings up in whatever source you're using. Like I said, this is a lot of grunt work. It's a lot of administration to do. This is why people pay hundreds of dollars for a professional Jyotish program. This is why I did because I don't want to go through and look up every single planet in every single sign and nakshatra and house and if it's conjunct with other planets or aspected by other planets, what those readings are. That's like five readings for each planet. And there are 12 planets, so 60 readings at a minimum. It's the bare minimum. And then there's other readings, too. Uh, so by the time you look up all these readings, you've spent hours and hours on a chart. And other than your own chart, it's probably not worth it to spend all that time. So I say go out and spend the money. Get yourself a professional Jyotish program like Gauravani Jyotish or Parashara's Light. Parashara's Light seems to be the favorite these days. And um, I'm using Gauravani because I already bought it a long time ago. And it's good enough for my chart. 
But if I start doing charts for others, I'm definitely going to spend the money for Parashara's Light, which, by the way, also includes a comprehensive library of all the main source literatures. Very easy, searchable, and comprehensive. Uh, you definitely want this program if you're going to do professional Jyotish. So now, what else do you have to look at besides the planets, their positions, and their associated readings? Well, there's quite a bit. First of all, there's the Shadbala, the planetary strengths. Here's what it looks like in Jyotish dashboard. Of course, each program, each different software is going to look different. But you see the basic principle. The comparative strengths of the different planets are listed, along with uh, some other different uh, strength indicators, a summary, and so on. So this determines when you have a reading for a planet, how strong or how much weight that reading has. In fact, all the readings for that particular planet are affected by the Shadbala. Then you should also look for the aspects called Drishti that that planet has with other planets. Here's a Drishti chart, which shows how the planets are related. Then, finally, you have the Dashas. Dashas are the, how can I explain, like the gates that determine whether a particular reading can manifest. And you'll find that a particular reading will manifest most strongly when there are compatible dashas. I'm using Vimshatari dashas, but there are several other dasha systems. You just have to experiment and see which one works for you. So basically, how do I put together a reading? Well, I take the basic charts, and then I look up all the readings for each planet. Then I prioritize those readings according to the Shadbala. And finally, I determine which readings are valid for which periods of time by using the dashas. There are other aspects too, for example, the divisional charts. And we'll get into divisional charts in a separate video. It's too complicated to do within this one. But basically, the divisional charts show you specific areas of the subject's life and how those stack up in terms of the planetary strengths and relationships and so on. For this, you definitely need an accurate time of birth. So that's something worth going into also. And we'll get into chart rectification in a, another video. Finally, you want to look at transits. In this software, Jyotish Dashboard, the transits show on the main chart or on the divisional charts. But in Gauravani, there's a very handy transit tool, and that allows you to select a date or select a particular transit you're looking for and get the readings associated with that transit. This is a very valuable tool, <clears throat> and any professional program will have it. So there you go. That is the basic plan for doing the readings. And I pretty much go through the same procedure in all the readings that I do. Occasionally, there'll be something that's not clear. And in that case, I'll take shelter of the I Ching, which is another divinatory tool that comes from Taoism. And so I guess I have to make another video just about that, because it's quite interesting and very powerful, very useful in doing any kind of readings. So that's the basic plan. 
and then we'll go into each aspect of the plan in the future videos. Aung Tat Shat. Aung Shakti Aung.